Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. This is part 46, I think. No wait, this is not 46. What am I saying? This is more like part 49, right? I think this is part... Yeah, this is part 49. What am I saying part 46? I'm crazy. This is part 49 of Dragon Quest XI and I'm having a great time. In the last episode, we explored the two islands. Uh, I wish there was a little mark I could move on the map to show them up, but we explored the two islands very close to us. Um, one was really, really big with two chests we can't get to behind a um, broken bridge. And of course the other one had the Bodkin Arch that told us there was a target on every single small island. But for now we are heading into this light to see what happens. Is anything open? There's a pillar of light on the surface of the ocean. Play Loriela's harp. Toby plays Loriela's harp. Loriela's harp. Oh, it puts us in a coat. It's almost like One Piece. And it brings us here. Beautiful. So this is the landlocked sea vortex of light. So let's head out. Let's disembark here. And the Champ Savage is what I think I read. So this is either like going to take us somewhere we do not want to go right now in the game. Which is highly possible. Or what's going to happen is it's going to give us a situation that we... Champs... Savage. La, la, la Academia de Notre Matres de Medellas. This is exactly where I want to be, game. For nom. Oh, we got a whole bunch of new areas we can get to. Beautiful. So I do see a little bit of an island over there. And then a little bit of an island thingy over there. We can't get to any of them unless we find a flying golden enemy. But we have a new enemy here. So let's start up by finding a new enemy. See what we're dealing with. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Good for enemies appear. We have the uh, lump mages and a spiked hair. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's have a normal attack on the lump mage. Oh, they seem very weak, which is kind of good, kind of bad. Spike hair must the strength, which is really bad. Let's whack the spiked hair. Get whacked it. Spiked hair is killed. Puts Japanese game into sleep. What the hell, lump mage? That was not part of our plan. Beautiful. Okay, so the enemies here are very weak, which I'm not sure is a good or bad sign, but it's a new area, and a new area always excites me. So we got lots of options on where to go. And I hate having lots of options on where to go. A group of enemies appear. <coughs> I'm gonna do exactly the same strategy. See how it goes. Dazzle. It hit on Serena, which is really bad. Cast Fuddle. Hit on Jade, which is very bad. I'm not going to attack Jade for now, I think it's fine. Let's go for the Lump Mage. Mm, maybe I should have had Savanda attack um, Jade. Kill off a Spike here. Jade is completely confused. But Jade attacks the Lump Mage, which was really good for us. Oop, miss from Serena, kind of bad. Cast Bang. I guess it's my turn to get banged a little bit, guys. What did I just say? I did not. I did not want to think about what I just said. But I said what I said, and we're gonna move on. So, uh, let's see what this is. It's the ghost. La Academia de Notre Mache de Medellas or Phnom Nom. <laughs> it's like one of them of the most complicated long names, and the other one's like Phnom Nom. The eerie, eerie. They they really went out of their way in names in this game. The cryptic crypt. The eerie, eerie, you know, really, really unique names that uh, not many people could think of, I guess. So I did see a target back there, which we're going to go back to, so. Bonjour, Vandura. Are you in possession of unwanted mini medals? Then take the left fork and come visit us at La Academia de Notre Matres de Medellas. And what if I don't have mini medals that I want to get rid of? Hmm, game. Then I guess take the right fork and don't go to La Matre. Academia La Norte de Matre Medellas. Is that what it's called? Lump Mages. I mean, we fought a couple of Lump Mages. I'm going to like hold off a little bit on that. The enemies are Glimmer glo Glass. Glimmer Glass? Glimmer Grass. Not Glimmer Glass. Shoot a target. One less target to worry about. Beautiful. I don't see any golden enemies per se. Okay. Let's go to La Academia de Notre de Medellas. 
I know this uh, naming this episode is going to be fun. So I'm going to have to type that out. And you all know I'm going to 100% misspell that. Like, let's all be honest with each other. It's, it's not happening. Now, La Academia Norte de Milias, Medilias is a, a sexist school that only allows females. And our boy Tetsu, the smith from Hoto, dreams were shattered. Dreams were absolutely shattered when he found out that he cannot take, go to the school and learn how to make mini medals. I feel like I'm, in, I'm. I feel like I'm in every Japanese school anime ever made. There's a dude right there. I thought dudes weren't allowed in the school. Very nice. I'm very happy I decided to come here. Is that a zombie? <coughs> it's a boy. It's an all girls school, but that's a literal dude teacher. Ah, uh, at least sing. Neath the branches of the birches, daffodils sway and swing. Here among the graceful gardens, budding young ladies sing. We'll stride across the wide, wide world and hunt for mini middles low and high. But our hearts live forever in our Academia de Notre Madre des Medellias. I think seeing that last part is very difficult. A splendid rendition, girls. Now, to your lesson. May you have a maximally fruitful day on your journey to become miniature ladies par excellence. All together now. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Why is there a zombie girl in a girl's outfit? Merci, mesdemoiselles. Mesdemoiselles. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a zombie wearing a school, a school girl outfit? Oh my god, this is as anime as it gets. What have we here? It is not so often that we receive les visiteurs. It is a minimally common occurrence, in fact. Incroyable! I do not believe it! Young man, it must have been fate that brought you here! Destiny! La Providence! I sense a great power within you! A power of maximal significance! There is much to discuss, but not out here, eh? Come to my office, and I will reveal all you need to know. It is nearby, a minimal distance. You will see. I mean, I kind of like this guy now. <laughs> Am I the only one asking the question why the zombie is in a schoolgirl outfit? Bonjour, traveler, and welcome to La Academia de Notre Matres de Medallias. In this, in this school, the daughters of the finest families and all of Adria assemble and train to become young ladies extraordinaires. In other words, this is a way too school that I do not like. The statue is called La Collectrice. It depicts an elegant young lady picking up a golden medal in a distinctively defined fashion. Is that a mini medal though in the... Look, I don't want to be that guy, but that is, a, that is guaranteed a mini medal. Just, just take it. It's one extra minute. Just take it. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Academia. Have you met Monsieur Medallia, the headmaster? He collects mini medals from all over the world. If you're looking for him, you should try his study. It's the little cottage just inside the main building. Wait, what? He lives in a cottage inside a building? That makes no sense. 
Who designed this place? Oh, you know what this means, guys. Walter! Are we gonna find a mini metal on the wall? I guarantee it. I guarantee it. 100% JRPG gaming. 100% guarantee. That in this cave, there will be a mini metal. It's a slime living in the shack! It's the greatest game I've ever played my whole life. Psst. Do you want to hear something that's going to blow your mind? This hut is actually the haunted home of mini metal loving monarch. Of a mini metal loving monarch. He comes to stay whenever he wants to get in touch with how mini metal feels hidden away in the shadows. Rich people have such silly ideas. All the slime. Mini metal? Mini metal? I told you. JRPG Gaming never gives a 100% guaranteed JRPG Gaming guarantee unless he knows for 100% fact that that is what's going to happen. So, I knew. I just happened to know for 100% sure fact that I was going to get a mini metal in that in this area. We got an enchanted stone. Ooh, put the enchanted stone in my backpack. Okay. I love walls, man. Walls are the best part of Dragon Quest. Okay, that's a little of exaggerating. Walls aren't the best part of Dragon Quest. There's a lot of good parts in Dragon Quest. Walls are just one of them. Royal Soil. Beautiful. We got a, two items and a mini metal in a while. I mean, you gotta love it. Oh god, typing this guy, this area's name is going to kill my soul. I can guarantee you that now. La Academia de Notre Matre des Medrias. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me know if you guys know how to pronounce that correctly. How well am I doing? Am I pronouncing it okay? Am I 100% wrong? Am I only a little bit wrong? Should I just stop trying to pronounce it all entirely? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about my pronunciation of La Academia de Notre Matre des Medellas. The ideal form that we seek to recreate is that of La Coca Collectrice, the figure immortalized in bronze in the school gardens. It is based on the Academia's very first chef de classe, Lady Minette Maximilien. Ah, if I could have bit a fraction of her grace. Wait, is that the girl we met in Fountain Junk Quest 8? I've only just joined the school, so I don't really know what a mademoiselle is. It's some kind of cake, right? If I keep doing what the big girls say, I do think they'll let me have one. Don't worry, I'm not a bad slime. I'm a goo slime. I'm practicing how to pick up mini medals like a graceful lady. With my bouncy body, I can grab them ten times faster than anyone else. Look at me, goo. I'm looking. Go. Go. Good day, sir. We are proud members of Les Med... Med... Les Medemis... Right? Mademoiselle. Les Medumisal Magnificis, an exclusive cup for only the most dedicated disciples of grace and elegance. We are currently practicing the proper way to pick up mini metal. No self respecting lady would ever click one any way but this. Okay, you guys have issues, man. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I mean, this area is very pretty, though, I'm not gonna lie. There are two things you need to become a master fisher person. And never say that attitude and patience. It's the same with collecting mini medals though. The road you tread may be dark and dangerous. It may also lead you to great treasures. Woman, I just found a freaking mini medal in a hut underneath the school. It's really not hard or dark or dangerous or treacherous. For that matter. It's kind of easy. Hello, Mr. Mr. My name's Chantal. Do you remember all the words to our school song? Shall I give you a reminder? Yes. Alright, get ready to sing along. Here comes the f official school song of L'Academia de Notre Maitre de Medellas. Aha! Neat the breach branches of the breaches, daffodils sway and swing. Here comes the graceful gardens, budding young ladies sing. We'll stride across the wide, wide world and hunt for mini meadows lie low and high. But our hearts live forever in L'Academia de Notre Maitre de Medellas. I'm not going to say that again. Shanta has such a lovely singing voice. Even Monsieur Magotot is moved. Look at the way he's moving his little nose up and down. He's obviously choking back the tears. They say the Academia was founded by the king of a faraway country, but I don't think that's true. All the kings are read about live in enormous castles with vaults overflowing with gold, silver, and jewels. Why would anyone as rich as that be interested in collecting many medals? Because mini medals are worth more than any amount of money in this game can ever offer, okay? Don't even try 
for one second to try and persuade me. Otherwise, I know. I've played enough Dragon Quest to know that mini medals are all that matters. The mini medals are all that matters. Okay, let's enter the house through the side door. I never like entering through the main door. It's not my style. What was I say? Nothing. Cooking for these girls is a true test of endurance. You think they are delicate little flowers nibbling away on the raindrops and zombies? Peh! None, they are ravenish monsters with bottomless pits where their stomachs should be. No matter how much I pile on the plates, they lick them clean and beg for more. Still, you are what you are eat. As they say, this dubitants to be our luckily I only use the finest ingredients. Pot. Seal of life. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hello, I'm Madeline. I'm here. I'm the head dinner monitor. Do you want to know what's on the menu tonight? Yes. To here, then I'll tell you, Madame Croquet will be serving her speciality, Dracillian sausages. If you put one in a freshly baked bun, made with Zwa's rusty and wheat, and add some fried onions from Fang Lai, it makes an amazing hot dog. Tonight's soup is cream of vegetables, and for dessert we have strawberry cake from the finest bakery in Gondolia, and exotic fruits fresh from Lonolulu. To here, my mouth's watering just thinking about it. Dinner time can't come quickly enough. I guess are they rich bitches, in other words? Good for them, though, if that's what they're into. Sure, they worked very hard to earn all that money. Do, do, do. Wow, I, I, I get, get, get so nervous when I speak to strangers. My tentacles won't stop wobbling, but, but, but I'll do my best. Here g g goes. W w welcome to the academy shop. What c c can I do? Go for you. Bye. W w what would you like to buy? Hypno whip, I already have. Silver Tiara, an elegant headdress, the workmanship of which is truly exquisite. Safety goggles, ridiculous thick glasses that make it m much harder f to memorize the wearer. To mesmerize the wearer. Strong medicine, uh, strong antidote, mineral bulb, camering angel bulb. Cures a single eye of confusion, consumed upon use. Red eye, blue eye, yellow eye, green eye. Purple eye, cherry blossom pull, a single pretty. A single pretty petal torn from the tree by a gentlest of breezes. What does it do? I don't know. Buy like five. Yes. Put it on my item bag because I don't know what it does. Sparkling sap, yellow eye, green eye, yellow eye, red eye. Angel by Kamiring. I need some strong medicines. <coughs> Give me like ten. No, not one. Oh my word. Actually, you know what? No, uh, fuck, buy one. Give it to Eric. Oh, someone, there we go. Strong medicine, buy three. Yes. Give it to Rap. Strong medicine, buy three. Give it to JRPG Gaming. Medicine, buy three. Give it to Steven. Buy two. Yes, give it to. Serena. Strong antidote. Buy one. Give it to Eric. Okay, that's good enough. I don't think I want anything else you're selling, so it's fine. Hello, Monsieur, and welcome to our Pearl Boutique. The perfectionist pearls is chess utile. Very useful indeed. With it, you can improve your equipment with no need for other rare and expensive materials. It seems you have 69 perfectionist pearls. We offer pearls at a price of 100 gold coins each. How many do you wish to purchase? This will cost you 100 gold, monsieur. Are you happy to pay? Yeah, sure. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. We wish you bonne chance on your quest. Okay. Hello, Cherie. This is the uh, Academy Dormitory where all our lovely little ladies eat, sleep, and dream. Normally, the payments are secret of limits for boys, but for you, I can make an exception. Well, will you be staying with us, Cecil? No. Oh la la, don't be shy, Cherie. Ooh la la. Oh, that's what I... Okay. I get it. He lives in a cottage inside this. Okay, okay, okay. They did tell me, so... So I wanted to explore the freaking game. Make our way under the story. And then what do they do? They throw a giant building at me. That you know is going to take millennium to explore. 
Ah, oh, what am I supposed to do? I am but a humble man that when I find a new area, I instantly explore it. And by explore, I do mean Robert Blind. Do nothing. Horrible dormitory is this? Hello? This place looks horrible. It looks like a study hall of hell. We got a feathered cap. We have like eight feathered caps already. I probably want to sell some of these soon. Do, 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 do. There's a story entitled I Love to Hate You, a schoolyard scandal, JBG Tammy takes it from the shop and has a closer look. Standing in the unkept field behind the school, the wind playing with the crimson scarf wrapped tightly around her neck and tossing her auburn hair, Emily's eyes burned with barely concealed rage. Finally, Matilda appeared, the two girls locked eyes, the stalk of an unripe cherry poked from the corner of Matilda's mouth. You took your time, Emily, her voice was harsh, almost screaming. Don't speak to your mouth for Matilda, Emily snapped back. You know how I hate that. You wouldn't want to make me angry now, would you? Matilda grinned her wicked grin and spat the cherry pip high into the air with it, where it soared in a lazy arc. And it was then that Emily realized the moment the pip hit the ground would mark the start of the fateful fight between these two long-standing rivals. To be continued, will Emily survive? What will happen to Matilda? Read the stunning conclusion in next month's issue, The Scarlet Scarf's Farewell. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> ah, these girls, they have too much time, so they make up stories. I love it. But is this part two? The book is called Joy, Jolly Sing Song, with Jolly Songs for Jolly Girls. Jabuki Gami takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Grubby Grubby Grublins, a traditional Swadushkin folk song. Don't be shy, sing along. Grubby Grubby Grublins, so small and strange and lumpy. Grubby Grubby Grublins, so gloomy, some are grumpy. Gloomy Grublins always sad, gloomy, grumpy Grublins always mad. Come on, little Grublins, oh, it's not so bad. Grubby 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 Grublins. A bling bling bulb. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, game? Did you just give me a bling bling bulb? And then you acted like it was the most normal thing. Do -do -do -do. A mini medal. This guy's looking for mini medals from a from around the world, far and wide, and they're in his own school. Little did he know that the mini medals were in his grasp all along, and he just had to open his eyes. But on that faithful day, the headmaster did not search all the girls' rooms, and he did not know. That the girls had the mini medals all along. Guess what I'm thinking about? Um, are you thinking about those fairies you saw at the bottom of the garden? Or maybe you imagine what it would be like to dance at Hello Dorian Ball? Don't joke, you know what? I, that when I look into your eyes, I can't think of anything else. Tihi, oh, you're such a silly Billy. Are these lesbians? Your hair is just gorgeous and those big blue eyes swoon. I'd love to talk more, but my friend here would just get jealous. Maybe I'll see you around somewhere. Bye for now, handsome. Hey, guess what? Okay, la, 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 la. Lesbians, you gotta love them. Let's head to the other side of the house. You cannot ride inside the freaking house. Hold it, darling. I'm trained to be just like my idol, an absolutely fabulous mask martial artist who goes by the name of Sterling Silva. I can't do a decent impression of the cool way he talks and all those dramatic gestures does, but one thing I haven't been able to replicate is his amazing physique, not yet anyway. Sylvana, you have a fan. <laughs> Love it. You gotta love it. Okay, so this is here. Biblioteca. Did that say Biblioteca? Hello! Ooh, <laughs> hello. Listen to me, girls. You must never ever set foot in the eerie eerie. The entire path to the east is strictly interdict. It is forbidden to go there. That valley is ruled over by the cruel and covetous asylum bird. If ever that feathered fiend sees anything shiny, it seizes it in the talons and takes it home to its nest. If if he should catch the sight of the twinkle in the beautiful eyes, girls, those orbs brillantes, you would surely think them priceless jewels and pluck them from your heads. If you do not believe me about how horrible that place is, there's a book in the bibliotheque that will tell you of the day gruesome details. I'd advise you to read it from a coverture of coverture. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I, I fucking slaughtered all the pronunciations there. Hello, I'm Kenita, the chef of the class. It is my role to look after the other girls and keep them in line, but they really don't make it easy for me. Take young Livy, for instance. Why, just the other day she saw an asylum bird carrying a silver sphere in its claws and decided to chase after it. 
If she had followed all the way to the area, we might have... We might never have seen her again. Oh, it gives me the shivers just thinking about it. I'm Chloe, and this is my sister, Cleo. We are identical twins. If you ever have trouble telling us apart, there's an easy way to do it. Just remember that Cleo is the clever one, and Chloe is the clod. Or is it the other way around? Tee -hee. Now, even I've forgotten which one is which. Oh, God. I'm Cleo, and this is my sister, Chloe. We are identical twins. Do you know that twins have special powers? We can always tell what the other one is thinking without even saying a word. Mother says because we share the same leaf on each dress's branches, so however far apart we may be, our swords are always together. A few, a few. Joe Pichy Gaming's nostrils suddenly filled with intensely flowery fragrance. Bonjour, Monsieur! My name, Maldorin Del Lamourge. Do you like my perfume? Oh, my friends in school say I'm the prettiest smiling walking corpse they've ever met. That is the most disturbing moment of my entire human life. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not naturally gifted like some of the other schools, but I work really, really hard to get into the school. I mean, once I saw the uniform, nothing was gonna stop me coming here. It's just so chic. It was designed by the legend Jean Paul Couture, do you know? After I graduate, I'm going to join his studio, study under the master himself, and become the greatest fashion designer in the world has ever seen. <clears throat> now that's what I'm talking about, girl. Have, have like dreams. Madame Wallopper's lessons are so boring. Every question she asks is easy peasy. Still, I mustn't blame her, I suppose. Everything's easy for a genius like me. My first words were the entire text of the Song of Erdrin in ancient Erdrian. Of course, I was just a baby at the time, so I don't remember actually exercising or any of the song itself. But it definitely happened. Oh yeah, sure, I believe that for... <laughs> I definitely believe that game. <laughs> oh my word, the school. I love it. I love the school. Boo. Boo. There's a church in the school. You gotta love it, guys. No pots, no barrels, no nothing. This looks like a map to a secret treasure where the X is marked. The academia overflows with the youthful exuberance of its students. Sometimes that spirit is so strong, a little is left behind even after a pupil departs this world. Aloras, can you not feel it in the very classroom? Ah, but forgive me, Monsieur, I'm forgetting my duties. Aham. Oh, wait, wait, sheep. Do you want to save your game? Yes, please. Doesn't that look like a map to you guys? Like a map that leads to a treasure? I mean, that would be freaking beautiful if they just put a map to treasure on the freaking school board. So that looks to me like some type of poison, water, river, bridge, and then like a long set of trees. And then in the middle of the big building or whatever, uh, on the path of the long set of trees, is in the middle a big X for a uh, secret item slash something. Oh, there's a Yggdrasil branch. There was an Yggdrasil branch there. Interesting. Oh, no, not the books. Oh, God. Let's clear my throat quickly. <clears throat> There's a book called The Seven Wonders of La Academia de Notre Matrias de Medellia. Strapagy Gaming takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Wonder number seven, the mysterious rose on the window. A student slain in a terrible accident. The spirit, once a pupil of La Academia, is doomed not only to remain in our world, but to remain in the very spot where she met with her untimely death. She appears in the prep room at night and is never seen anywhere else. Her mournful face can be seen staring from the window on cold and lonely evenings. At what she gazes, only she can know. Perhaps she still dreams of graduating, something she can never do, and of the chance to go out and see the big wide world. Oh, shame. That's a little bit harsh, like one of the students literally died in the school. There's a book called King Chalmini's Char Maximili Marvelous Idea. Jeopardy takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. This is long before the Metal King ever became a king. He lived only for his beloved mini medals. Gathering as many of his golden little friends as he could was all he ever cared about. 
But the moment he held his newborn daughter in his arms, something changed. Suddenly he found himself caring about someone else's happiness. He wanted the best for his little girl, no matter what it took. For three days and three nights, he racked his brain, trying to think how he might ensure that the princess grew up to be wise, graceful, a beautiful woman who loved many males just as much as he did. Then on the morning of the fourth day, as he performed his daily exercise, especially tatted to help him seek out mini medals, of course, he had an idea. Eureka, he shouted, I shall create a school where young ladies can learn of the wonders of mini medals. And so, L'Academia de Notre Matres de Medellas was born. Aww, that's so sweet. What like Jabuji finds a wrestling book entitled Fine and Dandy Design. He takes a look inside. Jeb learns how to make a smart suit, a posh waistcoat, and a bling bling belt. I already have a bling bling belt, but... Now I guess I can make a bling bling belt if I want. Chubbiji Gaming opens the book at random and sees the word jackpot written in large letters on the page. It must be his lucky day. I should go gamble then, I guess. At the casino. Mm -hmm. What like Chubbiji finds recipe book inside a next level neckwear. He looks inside. Knows how to make stars of clarity, necklace of immunity, full moon collars, rousing rose collars, care rivieras, talks of truth, protective pendants, chokers of riddance, Dogged collars, papillon pendants. Holy shit. That was an intense book. There's a book called Perfect Pre Picnics for Monsters. Monster Riding Madame's Moselles. Chapel just takes from the shelf and has a closer look. A sky rider's steed is fast and strong, but not as not so fast that the rider's tummy doesn't start to rumble before he reaches his destination. Anyone who's traveled on a monster back knows that it's hungry work. Which is why whenever I set out to see the world atop a monster mount, I make sure to pack a hearty lunch. Two large rounds of sandwiches and a pot of coffee with three lumps of sugar and plenty of milk. The perfect traveler's picnic. With that in my knapsack, I'm ready to sit back and watch the world go by in style knowing that I have a real treat awaiting me when hunger strikes. Okay, that was a little bit of a ra more random one. Do, 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 do. There's an old book entitled The Medal Winning Wisdom of Lady Minette Maximilian. JBG gave me text from the shelf and has a closer look. Mes Cheris, if you ever are lost as to how to be a perfect little ladies, I ask you to do one thing for me. Remember the example of the mini medal hunt. What is the first thing we do when we set out in search of our little brains? That's right, we unroll our trusty world maps and think carefully about where we will begin our search. In other words, we exercise our knowledge of the world and our powers of reason in these two things on which all our actions are mature thoughtful ladies must be based. To discover mini medals is to discover the world and this is why we seek them out. Because to be a woman in this day and age means to be a thinker and a doer per excellence. If you say so. <clears throat> it looks like the previous year's students register. There's a list of all kinds of weird and wonderful names followed by a note saying that the register for the next school year will be compiled soon. Okay. I'm the biggest book in academia. I've read every single volume in the library from cover to cover. If you're looking for an interesting read, I can highly recommend All the Glitters is Soon Gone. It's all about the asylum bird that lives in the valley to the east. There's a book called All the Glitters is Soon Gone, a tale of condors and criminality by David Attenborough. Deep in the eastern reaches of the Champs Sauvage, a secluded valley sits high in the mountains. The lo locals call it the Eerie Eerie. For it's the nesting place of the most infernal of flying fiends, the asylum bird. Like many of its smaller avian cousins, this bird shows a compulsive interest in objects that twinkle and glisten and roam far and wide in search of such treasures. The most erroneous example of his behavior occurred quite recently when a particularly aggressive individual attacked the nearby manor's house. The beast tore through the very roof of the building and made away with a large silver orb, the most priceless heirloom of the noble family who dealt there. The monster was thought to have taken the orb back to the area, but a party sent to recover it's never returned. It seems like they both it seems likely that both they and the treasure they sought will never be seen again. Okay, little girl, if that's the book that you recommended, I'm a bit worried about your like sanity. Do, 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 do. I'm afraid I'm something of a clean freak. I keep the corridors pick and spam, but the library is so dark and dusty I simply don't know where to begin. I'm sure the, the books must be very valuable. Our school is ever such a good one, after all, but they are also musty and moldy and old. So I'm sure an adventure like yourself would find them an absolute gold mine of useful information if you could bear the pong. It's locked. The doors locked tight. Sweet, I feel like I've explored the entirety of the school. Yeah, it does look like that. I didn't even know there was a way to check out other floors on the map, but I'm glad there is, and I'm glad I figured it out now. Do 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 do. Okay. Gonna explore the outside of this little cottage. Speak to the girl over here by this interesting plant. 
My grandma is a famous botanist. That means she studies plants. When she was a little girl, she came to academia too, just like me. She told me that this tree is a vessel for the memories of Yggdrasil, but I've never been able to work out how, what she meant. Before I graduate, I'm going to find out what's so special about it so I can be a botanist just like grandma. <clears throat> We visit the memories of the Luminary Quest thus far. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. The sad tale of the singer Siren. I can't do it, guys. I just can't. I can't. I can't watch the sad tale of the singer Sony again. It's the most saddest thing I've ever seen. So that's just pretty much a way for you to watch all the um, cutscenes in the game so far. So that's actually pretty cool. But no, thank you. I don't want to cry. I'm too young to cry. Sweet. So I think we've done everything. We can speak to the headmaster, but I'm a bit worried about the timer. So I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we will speak to the headmaster of the school and uh, find out what he has to say and uh, potentially give him some mini medals and maybe even find out a little bit more about the silver orb because the silver orb does sound like one of the six orbs we need for now though thank you all very very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please please be sure to hit that like button it really does help a lot do it for la academia de notre matres de medillas i'd really appreciate it i like saying that even i probably butcher the pronunciation i just really like saying that but for now thank you all very very much for watching i'll see you next time with another episode of train quest 11